everybody, just a uh, short video here on removing your rear Chevelle seats. Um, it was real easy for me because it was already kind of popped up. And basically, um, what sits in here is the bottom piece of the, um, it's like a latch, sits on the bottom of the seat, and basically that metal piece just sits right in there. What you need to do to get the rear bottom part out is you need to move it forward and up. Um, now, in some cases, this may help. Okay, or you can use, you know, some sort of a huge screwdriver. Okay, so you kind of want to wedge it in there and kind of move it up. But, but make sure you're watching very carefully because you don't want to bend that. So what I did was I just kind of used this to move it up just a little bit and then I pushed it forward and up gently. Again, you don't want to bend these things, you know, especially 45 year old rusted metal. I'm trying to preserve as much as I can and if I'm not going to use it, I'm sure somebody else will be able to use the parts. Um, so I got the bottom piece out. You can see there's a lot of debris and um, here's the protective coating that's just kind of laying there and you can see if I pick this up it's this rubbery protective coating and this is this is you know the original piece that was put there and um, it actually did a pretty good job now it's brittle as you can see but it did a pretty good job of protecting this metal and back there it's really not that bad so that's uh that's not bad I, I'm thinking that that's well I'll see when I start cleaning it up but what I decided and it's pretty messy in here was these two floor pans completely are going to be replaced I'm going to keep the the cross member here this this metal piece in the middle I shouldn't say cross metal under but we're going to keep this area all right that's going to stay um, and then that full pan and then this full pan is going to be replaced. So basically, this was pretty easy to do. I'm going to keep those seat belts, clean this area up completely, and get all that rust off of there, and then we'll see exactly what we have. But the next part here is I'm going to go ahead and remove the back part of the seat. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on pause since I don't have the tripod, and uh, I'll be back with you. Okay, so um, what you want to do is uh, to remove the back part of the seat, the rear seat that is, you're going to see a bolt on either side. Now, the light is actually not too bad in here. You may not need the flashlight, but let me just show you here. We lift this, uh, lift this up. And we see it right back in there. What you want to do is hit that with the WD-40. Let it sit for about, uh, eh, I'd say 15 minutes will do it. Come back in here, ratchet that off. You can see it's pretty rusty. And then you do the other side, and you are good to go. So that's basically, and then we have one on that side. And that would basically be it. So once again, I'm going to WD-40 this, and I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Be right back. As you can see, I got the bolts out. You can see that? came off actually pretty easy. So these are the two bolts that I was talking about, one on either side. And that's it, people. Just those two. Now... When you're lifting the back of the seat up, after you take those two bolts off, you may be fooled into thinking there's some other bolts back there, but there's not. What you need to do is take the seat and actually lift it up, and then once you lift it up, it should come right off. So what we want to do is do this. Okay, it's, you see how it just comes right up, and then you just pull out. Okay.
there you go. The whole seat just came out. Now it's a little difficult for me to do this. I have one hand, but you know, if it was that easy, just do it with one hand. You can see that this this is already off. What I need to do is just uh, manually take off the other one. So again, a little difficult to do with uh, one hand, but um, I'm going to put this on pause so I can take the whole thing off. A little difficult to uh, to film in this manner, but as you can see, once again, two bolts out. Take it. You want to push it directly up. Okay, and then once you do that, because it's housed in a track, once you do that, it should come right up and then take it out. I know some people get frustrated, just start yanking things and bending things. Just have a little patience and you'll see it's pretty easy. All right, so here we are. Seats are out. Real easy to do. These uh, seats in particular, I'm not going to keep. Probably put them on, uh, on eBay or something like that. But we have the bottom piece, and here's the back of the top piece. And you can see there's a few other things. I protect this panel. I'll take out, and uh, I'll have this thing all cleaned up, and then I'll be ready for fabrication. Right now, it's pretty much a mess in here, but uh, definitely making progress. I'll make some updated videos pretty soon, and um, if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a like. You take care of them.